at least we get good music as I get ready, okay? Like, this music is way too happening for what it is, let me tell you. Well, I really don't want to uh, delay too much just because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here and not able to function quite as well as I usually can. So let me go ahead and uh, after doing, no, not that, after doing one last thing, we're going to go ahead and do the reveal and just get it out of the way and done. Uh, so let me jump over there and see, you know what, it's just going to be a butt. We're going to have squares under one of the IMG, Iron GM names. Oh, wait, 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 this is how I fix that. Not that way. Okay. Uh, ready for it? Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, ready, go. Yes. Here are your GMs for this next match. The Iron GM, we're starting to get to the end of this. We're enjoying everything uh, that has happened today. We've been having a lot of fun, but you know what? We've got three GMs who have decided uh, that they will determine someone's fate. Now, if the players have chosen the same GM, that's who they get. If they chose different GMs they wanted, then they ended up with the third one. How did the votes go out? Well, our first GM, uh, not our first GM, our first player decided to opt for Iron GM, Nintendo. don't yes. Uh, our second one decided to go for Xandra, which means that Faizu is the victor, Faizu will be the decider for who lives and who dies in Kusagrana. I mean, nobody's actually going to die. But yes, we finally get a Faizu game. It's been a hot minute. Very grumpy cat. Very happy me. Hello, Faizu. Hello, Faizu? Hello? Are you just being grumpy and quiet now? No, 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 I'm here. I just need to set up a thingy. Okay. Let me turn you up so I can hear your beautiful, beautiful voice. Hello. Oh, thank you very much. How are you doing? Uh, kind of sick today, actually, as well. So uh, you're in good company. Yes, we can both be delusional together. Uh, speaking of delusion, I think this game has plenty of it. Uh, this game is... Well, look. This is, I think, the first match I've actually GM'd properly in Kuso 5. Uh, it's certainly the first one in a long time, so oh, I figured really? that it had to be something special when I came back. And we've, we've got Corndan joining us as well. Uh, Corndan, hello. I'll do what I can anyway. Yeah, my right. head's not working great, so that would be great. Yeah, we're, we're, both, we're both broken, and I know, Corndan, you're actually quite busy, so you may have to drop. But, uh, yeah, we've, we've got a video game. Um, what do we have? It's uh, it's a game for the Amiga. It's called Yolanda. <laughs> the ultimate challenge. Always. It's it's a game, guys. It's definitely a game. So you. Uh, yeah. So you've said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go over what makes this game so special um, just yet, but they're going to. We'll suffer. find out real fast. Yeah, oh, yes. I believe it. I believe that indeed. So right now I'm getting everything set up so that you can see Logstar go going up against Julo Ninja uh, in this beautiful Amiga game. Now, remember, uh, whoever loses this match will be out of Cuso Grande. This is determining the fate of one person in the tournament. Which, honestly, based off of Pauline Ragney's reaction to getting out of Cuso Grande, maybe that's fine. Oh, by the way, Corndan, Faizu, do you know who's doing audio for us? Uh, Julon Ninja is, I believe. Perfect. Hey, yeah. okay. Let me run this real quick. -da 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 -da. And uh, go check. I love make... the audio for this game. It's um, Impending Doom, the audio. Ooh. It, 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 it... The start of every stage is is just like the Jaws theme playing at you until everything goes horribly wrong. Oh, I like um, it. This game actually... I want to say this game actually has good music. It's just that you probably won't be hearing very much of it because people will be dying very quickly. Yeah, I feel like I played this. 
the stuff that's there is very anxiety inducing and you'll understand why in about the first 10 seconds <laughs> yep yeah. i'm probably gonna have to watch this on uh your stream bro so i'm gonna be slightly delayed because that my is internet fine a bit it's poopy before midnight over here and uh, I see that they are streaming at 720p 60 which is a bit much so I'm watching your stream in 360p and it's still buffering slightly that's fine it's fine we'll live it's fine uh, we'll cope yeah I'm just here to enjoy the suffering uh, so this is this is going to be a score attack because that is the easiest way of tracking this um, yeah the the only way you actually get points in this game is by beating levels. Uh, you do get slightly more points if you beat levels more quickly, um, but that's pretty much the limit of it. So yeah, it's it's pretty much down to who can complete um, the most levels in a single run. Uh, there's gonna be some luck involved in this, but if they get if they get used to it, I could see some some fairly good runs on this, especially as we're in brackets, and bracket players have a habit of doing a lot better than uh, we do in testing. Yeah, I would agree. Well, except I, I have definitely played this a lot more than I should have. <laughs> there is something I, weirdly addicting about this game. There is. Yeah. I, I probably put in three or four hours on this because with as bad as it is, it feels so satisfying when you make progress. Mm-hmm. Well, the players are ready to begin. One for one player, then fire for hero mode, essentially how they get into the game. So yep. I'm going to go ahead and start the countdown. What should chat spam for emotes? Fire. Uh, fire, spiders, spiders. crabs, uh, mussels. If you have bikinis, those are good too. Chainmail bikinis. Chainmail, yeah. Uh, strong females are also very acceptable. Hercules. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing I'm seeing Athena being spammed in chat. I mean, I guess. Yeah, probably appropriate. Okay, as soon as I see movement in the game, I will start our timer. And Jillo Ninja has opened the keyboard. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna recapture this because welcome to Amiga. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, now this is interesting. This is very interesting. They're actually both on the same level. Oh, and uh, we've got a death on Jewel and Ninja. Yeah, the levels here are <laughs> randomized. <laughs> yes, uh, it's based on the labors of Hercules, and it randomizes which one you do every time you die. Yep. Uh, yes, this is a remake of C64 Hercules. Um, this is effectively a Kaizo game. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yes. There we go. 26 seconds in, we have our first game over. Wow, that was even faster than the game earlier today. Yep. Impressive. There's so much of this that's Kaizo everything, and you have to just be very careful about what you do. The best part of this is that you can't even sit still and watch to pay attention and figure out your path through a level, because after about three to four seconds, if not quicker, the starting platform will burst into flames and you will die. Yep, usually. I mean, not always, but usually. But yes, you have uh, invisible platforms, disappearing platforms, platforms that will turn into flames when you touch them, uh, ropes will randomly fall when you touch them, and the controls are a little bit sticky. Yeah, yeah, this is a very <laughs> difficult game. So we are judging based off of uh, score, right? Score. Yep, because yes. you basically get the, roughly the same score every time you complete a level and you get a little bit of extra score for completing it fast. Uh, so score is by far the way. And like even just completing one area is faster than, or is a higher score than the highest score on the high score table. Yes. Yeah, I don't think you... I cleared any of the, maybe one of them, but this game is so hard. Uh, Zezanoth, you say learning 12 Kaizo levels at once. Uh, there are actually 50 levels in this game. Um, because yep. whenever you beat each each labor is divided into I think three or four stages. So after you four. beat, if 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 Julon beats this stage, for instance, they will go into the next stage of this labor. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you're basically learning fifty Kaiser levels, and it randomizes which ones you get. That now, is if you not beat okay. one of the opening ones, right, you get the the next ones in order. <laughs> 
Sorry, I'm just enjoying this so much. The amount of death I'm seeing on my screen. I mean, how long have we wanted to see this? A while. Uh, I've, oh, yeah. I've been... I thought this was going to have to be too binned in for a while because I couldn't figure out a good way of tracking it. Um, Until he but, gave it to me and said, eh, figure it out. Yeah, pretty much. And <laughs> you said, hey, score. I mean, I did kind of figure... The biggest problem I had with it was fairness more than anything. Uh, I, I did enough it's, work. It's the randomized <laughs> stages. Yeah, I did enough work to show that all the stages basically give the same amount of score. And yes. right, like all of your other options would be basically to do the same thing on, um, you know, track how many you got in a single playthrough. And, and we figured out that score basically does the same thing. Uh -huh. Oh, Yulon Ninja made it through a level. That's 6,250 points on the board. Wow, high yeah. score! Heck yeah. This game is so evil. <laughs> and so, uh, imagine now racing it, right? Every time you go into a level, you... <laughs> it's so good. Like, just, just I... testing it gave me anxiety. Yeah, I I played this a lot as a kid, um, which perhaps explains a lot of things about me. But uh, yeah, I playing this without racing it is bad enough. <gasps> playing this while racing it, when you don't know how your opponent's doing and so on and so forth, that's it's got to be a nightmare. And no, uh, it is not up to jump; it is fire button to jump. Yeah, what what are the full <laughs> controls in this? How does uh, jumping work? Uh, is it jump. committed jumps or? No, you you have a, a little bit of leeway, but it's it's kind of committed. Okay. You you don't have much leeway at all, um, but you do have a little. Other than that, it's just up, down, left, right, and the fire button is jump. Um, it, it, it's less committed than ghouls and ghosts, but not by a lot. Yeah. There is no attack. Uh, this isn't a nuke at all. This was my first option. Oh yeah. Like, this is the bracket, you know? We're entering the territory where, you know, uh, we're separating the best players from those who are pretty dang good. And, you know, this game is just I mean, so in... difficult. I feel like they're going to be angry about 10 <laughs> minutes in. Like, already angry, like... but I think they're going to be typing in chat for a long time. You know, it, it's actually... Like, once you get past kind of the first couple looks at this, right, it actually in some ways gets a little easier because there's no RNG to this at all. True. So... Yes. When you know and, how to beat a level, you know how to beat a level. But you have to remember. Um, well, you would be good thing you'll see how that quickly... Level. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, muscle memory kicks in quite well, and as Dan was saying, you're going to see the levels a lot. Logstar Go, I didn't know where to go there either. There's some cases where you just look at the screen and you're like, where do I even go? Yeah, Where's that one I think is invisible platforms directly above you. Of yeah, course. They... I mean, why wouldn't they be, you know? Yeah, yeah The uh, so the differences between uh, Wimp mode, Hero mode, and Legend mode, which are the, the three difficulties. Uh, Wimp mode gives you a random level, but it keeps giving you that level until you run out of uh, lives. So yes, that that's that's boring. So uh, is... hero mode randomizes the level each time, and I think legend mode only gives you one life. I can't remember. Something like that. So the level that um, the Julo Ninja's on, you need to jump all the way to the right, right? Like there's an invisible platform set basically right where they're at. You you have to wait until. Um, the fireballs pass, it's a timing thing more than anything, and then you've got it. Yep. This game is so evil. It's very difficult. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if, if you're watching and wondering... No, I think everybody watching has already realized how difficult it, this is. No, because... I don't think you do. Like, it's way more difficult than it looks. And it looks bad. Yeah, this... If... <sighs> I would suggest trying to play this for yourselves. It doesn't control badly, but it doesn't control well, and it it doesn't do things quite as you would expect. Um, it is so very, very precision-based, and it's, it's yeah, it's just pain. 
And yet I have such a soft spot for this game. I spent hours playing this today and over the past few days and over the past year. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like it. <laughs> I, I think of it as a puzzle game and not a platforming game. Yeah. Right? I, like, I think I would agree, yeah. <laughs> But, but, like, once you figure out what to do, it's solvable. Oh, did Jilo Ninja yes. make it to 20,000 points? Very yep, nice. Yep. So that's, like, three um, levels that you stage, got through. That stage is worth a lot of points if you get through it. I think it's about 11,000 or something, yeah. Yes, we are doing score attack because it is, considering how fast deaths are in this, it is by far the easiest way to track this, and I don't want Katus to murder me. I, I love that I'm looking, it's the 8-bit versions that have Hercules, 16-bit versions, it's his daughter Yolanda, who has been cursed and can only free herself by completing the same tasks that her father completed. Yeah, cursed by the, the nobody goddess will of... love her again or something. Yeah, she, she, uh, no humans can, will look at her or something. And yeah, she was cursed by the goddess of death, Hera. And I'm pretty certain that was not what Hera's, uh, status was as a goddess. I think it was more wife of Zeus and, uh, marriages and fertility and other bits and pieces. I can't really remember, but death was not one of her aspects. She was a big fan of cursing people, though. Yes. Well, you would be too if your husband would bang anything that moved. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't talk about Zeus's predilections. Um, but yeah, I have no idea why this got remade, and I have no idea why when they remade this, they remade it with a female protagonist who is uh, Hercules's non-canonical daughter. So, Jewel and just having really struggling with that one level, he's got it almost completely right. Except you basically have to hold down the jump button when you're falling down that thing and spam to the left while you're falling, yep. because you have like two frames when you hit the ground before that platform disappears. Yes, with all disappearing platforms, you can jump off them, but you only have uh, about a frame to do so in. But you can buffer that input. So yes. it's not so bad, you just need to know what you're doing. Yes, you just need to be aware that the platform is going to disappear and you're going to die if you don't jump. Oh, I... Which is a description of this entire game, frankly. One thing that I love about this, by the way, is that, yes, we see that Jilo Ninja is in the lead. That definitely doesn't mean that's going to be the case this whole time. Uh, in fact, no. I, I think there is a decent chance Logstar go clearing that stage and getting 9,900 points. Nicely done. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is not uh, beyond belief that 20,000 points will be the highest that Jewelo Ninja actually gets. I firmly believe that he'll get higher, but that's oh, yeah. a pretty good score for 10 minutes in. Yeah, not nope. bad at all. So, uh, the one that Julio Ninja was on there, you can literally just fall off to the right and then you'll be right at it. Uh, that's probably the easiest one, the one with the, the meteors coming down. I actually quite like the one that Logstargo was on just then before the game over, uh, with the boulders going along the top. That's one of the easier ones, I think. This game has a lot of good music, just the starting... The stage over music is not exactly the best one. That's 22,000, uh, 22,950 for uh, Logstar Go. So that's a lead change as chat is spamming. Quite frankly, they don't actually need to put their uh, names in anyway because it keeps the high score tracked at the bottom of the screen regardless. Yeah. And I think it just puts it in as Yolanda if you don't put a name in. But I can I understand if they are if they hate Yolanda so much at this point that they really don't want her name anywhere near the high score table. Yeah, so the the twelve different things, the twelve different labors of Hercules slash Yolanda I'm sorry, it's just so fun to say. Uh, what, you know, beginning with Slay the Nemean Lion, to Slay the Nine-Headed, 
Lernian Hydra. Three, capture the Golden Hind of oh. Artemis. Four, capture the uh, Irmathian <laughs> Boar. Five, clean the Augean stables in a single day. Oh my gosh, okay, that sounds like the worst. That's uh, that's a that's a particularly rough one. I'm just amazed that Yolanda does all of this by just uh, going through doors. Yeah, how do you clean I'm the stables also... in this? I don't know that. You burn them down. I, so... <laughs> I mean, they already have fireballs in them and uh, giant crabs and all the rest, so it's very historically accurate. Okay. Okay. Uh, There's also but, uh... slay the Stymphalian birds. Uh, capture the Cretian bull, steal the mares of Diomedes, obtain the girdle of Hippolyta, queen of the Amazons, obtain the cattle of the monster Garid, uh, Garion, steal the apples of the Hesperides, and capture and bring back Cerberus. But that one sounds fun. Well, that one means literally going to hell, I suppose. Yeah, oh, oh, Jilo Ninja tried to clean the stables, but unfortunately, the fireballs just killed him. <laughs> you hate those fireballs in the stables. Okay, Jilo um, Ninja tried the... to go after the Nemean line, but didn't work. I believe that Logstar Go is working currently on the Steinfalian birds. I, I don't know, that looks like or the Amazon Queen in the bottom left. Maybe stealing the girdle? Okay. Yeah, possibly. Okay. So we're figuring this out. What's the one with all the spiders? Spider legs. Uh, I don't know. I think that the only way to figure them out is to see what turns into the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the lion turned into the door for Jula Ninja. I mean, it does, it does give you a lot of text on the screen, which is relatively accurate to the actual uh, Herculean labors, which is surprising considering what they got wrong. Okay, I mean, Yolanda, like, Yolanda was else. not. Yolanda is entirely made up. Uh, Hera is not the goddess of death. <laughs> uh. There we go, Jula Ninja trying to steal the mares of Diomedes. Uh, of course, the what crabs are going to completely ruin your life if you touch them. Now, if you look at Logstar Go, Logstar actually has a lead at this point, 35,000 points. Of course, this yep. could change at any time. Okay. I mean, if you consider that in this game, a single run is probably going to last about three or four minutes if you're doing really well, then yeah, oh, yeah. I figure that we're going to see a lot of changes. Assuming that nobody uh, rage quits and threatens me again. I mean, it's not hard to get to like 30, you know, like 35,000 points is like three areas. So yes. once you get some of those kind of caught on exactly what to do, it's not hard to get to like 50,000 points in a run. Yeah. <laughs> Still, this, this game is ridiculous. Oh, the golden yeah. apples. Logstar go. Oh, the golden apples are hiding now. Hate when that happens, you know? Oh, no. Is that, is are those are those the golden apples? Because oh, I've never sure. managed to work out what they are. They, they look really were weird on my screen. They're apple shaped. I they're really gold. really hate the fact that that second rope you can jump onto is a trap, and it will just hit yep. you on. on yeah, uh, you, you have to jump screen. super low on that, and then you're fine. Yeah, have to go onto the platform. If you jump onto that second rope, it falls and you die. Okay, Cretian bull on Julo Ninja's screen. Can you? Oh oh oh. Okay, good jump there. Good. This level is fairly easy, considering that there are a lot of hidden platforms. You're probably not going to fall to your death. Once you figure out where the hidden platforms are, I mean, it's like Horndown was saying before about it being kind of a sadistic puzzle game. This level is really, really easy when you know oh, um, yeah. what to do. There isn't really any randomization or anything like that to it. Oh, that was... Painful on Julian Ninja screen. Uh, yeah, for yeah. Julian Ninja screen there, you have to get to the rope all the way on the far right and then go all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, some of these jumps are very finicky. Moving along the vines is also very finicky because if you uh, bang your head against the ceiling, you just fall to your death. Yep. Also, just based off of all these pictures uh, of the Hercules trials, 
I think he would have done better if he had more clothes. Like, seriously. Who goes and cleans the stables while naked? Come on. Well, uh, dude, you don't want to get poop on your clothes. Well, wear some crappy clothes. Okay, you can wash them. There's literally something called laundry day. Well, right. anything you wear is going to be crappy clothes after you're done cleaning the stable. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And then he went and held this guy up for Atlas and did that naked. Come on, Hercules. Hercules did a lot of stuff. The, the Greeks did a lot of stuff naked, or at least the uh, mythological ones certainly did. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Hercules put together an OnlyFans uh, of him oh holding God. up the Earth naked. <laughs> did you really? He makes so much money. Oh, my we, gosh. Do we, need well. to, do we need to ban Corntan now? <laughs> The, the 12 labors only fans. Yeah. You can't tell me I'm, I'm wrong here. I'm not actually sure if I'm surprised that we are only 18 minutes in. Like, this feels somehow like it's only been three minutes, and yet by the same token, this feels like it's been about three hours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would go ahead and say as well, chat, if you don't know what it is that we just said, don't Google it, okay? I don't want you to blame me. Just don't. <laughs> you can go Google Hercules, okay? That's really all you need anyway. You can absolutely Google Hercules, and you can Google the 12 labors of Hercules. Uh, but the other things that were said, don't, don't Google those. Yeah. Honestly, not Googling things is a fairly safe thing to do um, around here. And in general, for that matter. Good, uh, good internet practice, I find. Um, if you're not sure of what something is that someone says, maybe don't Google it. Okay, let me just tell you, the intro music to this uh, is not good for my headache. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, it's, it's anxiety-inducing. No, it's like it's like it's yelling into my ears. It, it definitely is anxiety inducing when you're playing this game like every single time you start up a level you're like oh my gosh i have to get to safety because if i don't i'm dead yeah every single level will kill you within about two or three seconds and that's not hyperbole <laughs> i'm wondering how much i'm wondering how much nerves are affecting them as well because with a game like this um, it's just so cruel, and I can't imagine what it would be like to try and race this. Now, for a second there, I thought you said, I wonder uh, what their nerds are doing, and I'm like, Paizu, that's a little bit rude, you know? They're they're here playing for our entertainment. And we're all nerds here. Yeah, actually, we're mega nerds. Yeah, go fight the Amazons! Or burn, Logstar Go. Like, the game is very very precise any small error and it's very easy to die and lockstar go just having the platform turn into fire because why not one thing i'll comment on with what logstar go was doing then was uh that jumping straight upwards onto vines is really difficult if you can it's always better to leap horizontally to get yes. onto them oh that platform turns into fire that's not nice and yes, if you climb to the top of a rope, you do indeed fall off it because you uh, bang your head against the ceiling and that counts as you falling. It's the same thing if you ah! jump and hit a platform. Because if you have a if you have a concussion, you can't hold onto a rope. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I can barely hold onto a rope as it is. Like I'd be, if I were in these stages, I would probably be falling into the flames every like two seconds. Faster than Yolanda, okay? We were, I, I want to say, we were trying to figure out if we could get this into not a platformer by claiming that it's a sadistic puzzle game, but we figured that might be a stretch. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it is a sadistic puzzle game. I stand by that. Yeah, it's but I think it is. It's a puzzle platformer. 100% puzzle yeah. platformer. There is, I don't know if there's a speedrun of this, but I will say that there is a video on YouTube of someone beating this game, I believe, deathless. 
No. Uh, well, it isn't. It is entirely possible. That has to be a tass. Spliced. Prove it that if it was still a tass. It was a splice tass. Maybe it was, and sure, whatever. <laughs> right? It's still impressive because this game is stupid. It's so incredibly difficult. Like, I I fully recommend everybody try this because it's a fascinating game. It's not good. It's extremely hard. But I, I feel like once you play this, your life will change. <laughs> not for the better. It just will change, you know? So I'm looking at this, by the way. It was developed by Quantum Productions, which... Also developed literally nothing else. Uh, however, it was published by the Powerhouse. They published other games like Baby Burks. What the crap? Gun Runner? You don't run with guns. Uh, Power Plays. Yeah, that's like esports stuff. Uh, that one looks racist. Uh, yeah, so nothing really outstanding. Orpheus in the Underworld. That could be fun. Nope, doesn't look fun. Uh, yeah, ne needless to say, you know, the companies are fairly, or the, the, the company that made this, fairly unknown, at least over here. Just, uh, they made a lot of very generic sounding games, is what I'd say. The person who programmed this, by the way, this was the first game that he made. Uh, second game was Tomb of Syrinx, and didn't make any other games past that. The well, deaths. I love the deaths. I I um I can't stop giggling uh, at pretty much every cruel death in this. Probably because I've seen all of them on my own screen dozens of times, and watching someone else suffer through them, the Schadenfreude is glorious. Oh yeah. Oh, actually, I found out. Uh, I, I was looking at the generic credits, uh, probably for one of the other uh, releases. The person who worked on the programming for this, though, uh, was the original designer for Medieval Resurrection. Uh, I, I believe the PS2 game. Uh, the various James Pond games, they worked on Primal, Prototype, Prototype 2. Uh, Some of those games were okay. Yeah, yeah. Bad Company? I, I'm not sure what that is. The Long Dark did some support for that and was a project consultant for the remake of Medieval. That's also pretty good. Yeah, I actually think that's pretty impressive. So, yeah, the, th the thing is, like, games like this, uh, even though this game is extremely hard, it kind of has to be in order to give it more of a shelf life. Oh, that was a bad death on Logstar screen. That's a... The screen was a really nasty one. It's one where if you go in the wrong direction, you cannot make it to the safe area in time. Oh, no. One of the people who did the... Gra the person who did the graphics for this version also did graphics for Mr. Blobby. I'm not even kidding you, okay? But he also did character art for Little Big Planet 3. So... I feel very conflicted about this guy. Uh, so, yeah. I, I kind of appreciate as I'm watching both of them that neither one of them has tried to jam the jump button down, <laughs> right? Like as you're falling. So nobody's discovered the invisible platforms you can jump off of, or the, the disappearing platforms you can jump off of. Yeah. Yeah, I... I'm impressed with the crab animations, especially with the protruding eyeballs. Do crabs actually do that? Uh, I think some of them do, yeah. I don't know too much about crabs. Like, I live in Utah. We don't have crabs here. Yeah, but do you know they're delicious? Well, yeah, I've eaten, like, crab rangoons. Absolutely amazing. Most crab rangoons don't have crab. Yeah, but the ones that do are great. That's if fair. they advertise I... them as crab rangoons, they absolutely have to have crab. Okay, that's the law. I have never eaten crab that I know of, anyway. 
Like, I yes, wouldn't go that, out of my way is... to eat crab. It's okay. The Rangoons like are great it. because they have cream cheese. You can uh, you can jump off the vanishing platforms. There is a very very short space of time in which you can jump off the vanishing platforms. You do actually land on them before they vanish. Um, so you can yeah, jump like on them. One frame or land. two. Yeah, but you can you can buffer the input by just holding down the jump button. So it's not yeah. as bad as it seems. Okay. And in fact, I mean, they expect you to. Yes. It's just one of those, again, it's one of the puzzle elements. You need to figure out that you can do that. Okay, but people are saying crab rangoons are artificially crab flavored. Uh, they'd have to spell it with a K, right? I'm pretty sure that's the law. I don't know the crab rangoon laws, actually. <laughs> I really, I kind of wish that there was a webcam up so that you could see my face and the giant grin that appears every time I see someone die. So, like, every two seconds? Basically. It's just like Christmas for Faizu. Permanent I mean, Christmas. I, I'm going to have to go back and check the VOD for this one, but I think that I, I said that we would have at least three game overs within the first minute. Uh, Pretty sure I, we did. Yeah. I know that our first game over was 28 seconds. And I feel like we could have maybe got another two in in the remaining 32 seconds. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, there are two players. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> they are both Isn't on the just... golden apples. Just Why do you want lost. golden apples? I don't know. Hercules, you because they just... give you a hundred and is it hundred and fifty life, a hundred life, two hundred life? I don't know. What? Like in Minecraft? Like in Final Fantasy IV? Oh, I don't know. I mean, the golden apples. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've looked at my Greek mythology. The golden apples were either uh, life-giving or they were just incredibly sweet and delicious, and it may have been both. The apples of the Hesperides. I I can believe it. Yeah, the. I'm looking this up now because I'm. Apples. Okay. Uh, there was a single apple tree, or possibly a grove. Uh, and apparently different deities came with nuptial presents for uh, the marriage of Zeus and Hera. Okay, that's cool. And apparently the goddess of Gaia brought branches having golden apples growing on them as a wedding gift. Hera was like, ah, oh, these are cool, and decided to uh, have Gaia plant them in the garden there. Hera didn't even plant them herself, okay? She's like, hey, thank you for the gift. Now get gardening. Yeah, uh, apparently Hera got really upset about the Hesperides because uh, they would occasionally take some of the apples and Hera's like, no way. Uh, so she put a hundred headed dragon named Laden as an additional safeguard in there. Oh, jeez. Uh, why not? Although, later years, they thought that the golden apples may have been oranges. And the Greek word for the orange fruit is still named after the country of Portugal and Iberia, where near where the Garden of the Hesperides grew. So, fascinating. That's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. They weren't golden apples at all. They were oranges. Possibly. Although there's there's a really interesting thing about colors and the way colors develop um, in cultures. Yeah. Like uh, colors colors get named in a very particular order in every culture, um, and you can see it in a lot of old writings where they didn't have particular colors or names for the colors, and there are some really really weird ones. Um, I'm trying to think of... It was a satisfying what? death, just watching Logstar accidentally miss a jump and then 
uh, you know, ending up having to go do the loop of the level over again and dying because... You just miss it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> like Lady Amygdala is pointing out, Japan is only recently uh, judging between blue and green. Uh, Which is yes. why Japan's red. stoplights are red, mm. yellow, and blue. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, uh, red is usually one of the first colors because it's... Um, blood and wine i think is one of the reasons given for it oh yeah two like very both of those things in ancient cultures um but yeah if you if you look at a lot of the old greek things um i think the sky is described as being orange almost all of the time because there wasn't a word for blue um so they use the opposite color oh they're so for whatever for whatever reason i don't know i think it's orange i might be wrong on that it's been a while since I looked into this, but yeah, it's fascinating the way that colors develop. And effectively, people just, because they didn't really have the word for the colors, they didn't really see the colors per se. It's it's like the um, myth about how certain cultures have like a hundred words for snow, whereas to us, it's just snow. Yeah, it's not quite that exaggerated, but... Uh... Yeah, if you have a lot of things around you, you're probably going to have more terms to differentiate between them. Exactly. And to... Uh, it's both a combination of that and... Uh, <gasps> Julo Ninja is getting really close here, by the way, to, to moving oh. into the lead. If Julo Ninja can... Yep. No! Not die. They have not figured out that particular level yet. Yeah, neither one, one of them. Jump to the left as you fall, and then a step to the right. Move My your gosh. hands on your hips. I'm you're not, under burned in fire. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna sit here and watch Yolanda. Oh come well, on, bro. Let's let's do the time warp again. I'm not. No, no time traveling for me today. Okay, I'm tired of it. Sick and tired of trying to time travel and just getting stuck in the past. <laughs> Happens every time, okay? Happens every dang time. Let's go time traveling. And then guess what? It's 1950s and I'm like, crap. They don't even have the internet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just enjoying some of these deaths again. Oh, same so here. Good. Yeah. They're no less entertaining the second time you see them or the 50th time you see them. This, this is everything I hoped for, for my grand return to Kuso. I really kind of hoped that somebody would pick up on the fact that you could buffer input. Yeah, you can. I, I actually think that this game has pretty good music. It's just that you tend to only hear about 10 second loops of it. When I, when I was playing this for the first time, I decided to actually read um, the level descriptions. Uh, and so that kind of leaves the music playing for, you know, 20 or 30 seconds. And there is more to the music than what you're hearing here, because everyone's dying really quickly, all finishing the level. Mm. And then dying really quickly after. Yes. And we're only really hearing the start of the music, and it's a it's pretty good tune, but we're not going to hear it. We are just over halfway through the match, and I still firmly believe that there is time for either player to get a massively increased score from what they have. Okay, so I'm taking a look uh, at how languages generally developed words for the different colors. Uh, in essence, languages, all languages contain terms for black and white. Uh, if a language contains three terms, then... It contains red. Four, it yeah. contains a term for either green or yellow. Five, it has both green and yellow. Six, it contains blue. Seven, it contains brown. Eight or more, it contains purple, ink, orange, or gray. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Yes, uh, yeah, everybody who's watching, we are grading this based <laughs> off of score, and luckily there's a lovely high score 
in the middle of the game, pretty much present Log almost all the time. Logstar, Logstar has a good lead. 40, 45,000 now. That's impressive. I kind of expected that we would see that during this. Yeah, that seems about fair. By the way, apparently people have charged that, or people have questioned that view. Uh, that was originally written about the colors in the 1960s, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really feel like reading 50 pages right now about how colors got their names. Maybe later today, but not right now. I've got Yolanda. Yes, the levels do indeed appear randomly. Uh, score comes from beating a level, and you get slightly more points if you beat a level quickly, but you need to go incredibly quickly anyway, so it's still fairly common. Um, there is the possibility that luck can end up deciding this, but over the course of an hour, it seems very unlikely. Um, like, it is possible that someone could get five levels in a row that they know how to beat and rack up an amazing score based on that. But if they do that, then uh, firstly, that's kind of unlikely. And secondly, their opponent has also had the same opportunity to learn the levels as well. So, hey. Oh, long star go. Yeah, you got to buffer the jump because you have like, I think it's exactly one frame to jump on a disappearing platform. Yeah. But you can. In fact, you absolutely can. It, yeah. In fairness, it took me a while to figure that out. Um, I actually found out right away because I had just well, held down the button because I'm a jerk. Yeah. yeah. Yep. The thing is, in I think in their case, they'll probably be doing everything they can to try and avoid the disappearing platforms because, again, they're playing in a race format, which has a very different feel to just messing around with this casually. Um, although, even outside of a race format, playing this is unbelievably stressful. You know, I mean, they're at a point, too, like, we know, they've seen all of the base levels. Yes. Every single one. So it's not even like you could argue that, you know, you could pick a different level or something like that if that comes up. Inevitably, you're going to have to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, the disappearing platforms pop up a lot in all of the levels, both early and later. Well, yeah, if you're if you're wanting to get a good score, then, you know, rather than just hoping that you get levels that you like, just learning the individual levels, I think, could be helpful uh, because yep. you never know when the randomness is going to play into your favor. You know, do you want to leave your fate in this match up to randomness? I yep. don't think so. That's that's exactly it. Oh, Logstar did just manage to jump off a disappearing platform. So maybe Logstar has figured that out now. Maybe. Important info. Oh, unfortunately, booping his head. Logstar fell into the flames. You know, these flames really kill really quickly. I feel like most flames, you know, take a little while. Like, I don't know, if you hold up a, a match or a lighter, you can do the wave your fingers over the flame and it doesn't burn at all. Like, why are well, these flames yeah. so deadly? Because maybe it's lava. And we all know what lava does to Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, it makes him really annoying. Oh no, he was annoying way before that. Well, okay, that's fair, that's fair. I feel like the uh, the best way I managed to describe this, I think, was describing it as... Oh, oh. Oh, Longstar, go! Oh, amazing! Yeah. Th that level, if you do not know about the buffered jumps, it looks like it's impossible. <laughs> it's so good. The thing is, Longstar did manage to do one of the jumps on a disappearing platform before. But, uh, yeah, I, I liken this to, like, a Kaizo version of WarioWare. Because from the, from the moment a level starts, you've only got a second to work out what you need to do. Yeah, that's a good comparison. By the way, Julo Ninja is at 36,000 points. This 
is looking hopeful for Julo. Oh, Julo yes! Needs to get... That level did not give too many points. But 39,000, still nothing to uh, uh, laugh at, nothing to like shake your head at. I'm not shaking my head. That is a very respectable score. And that's also a score that uh, I think Julo can get back as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, we've for got, sure. We've got, we've got 18 minutes left. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. Anything could change. Uh, except for these really ugly crabs on Julo Ninja's screen. I don't understand that crab. Why does it exist? We, we haven't actually. Yeah. Uh, crabs, eyes, eye stalks. That's how it works. No, no, that one's skull crab. Yeah, that's skull crab. Uh, what the crap is a skull crab doing in here? I kind of assumed that was a giant spider, actually, but I much prefer thinking of it as a crab, so that's fine. Oh my gosh. So many of these jumps are just incredibly precise, and you do not... Oh, my. Yep. Well. <laughs> do we have them complaining? Nope, they're not complaining in Discord at all. They're just... They're focused they are, on they the are. game. There is next to no downtime in this game. Yeah. So, hey. Like, you're dying a lot, but the 20 seconds it could take you to type something in Discord, that's a level you could have finished. That's like three levels you could have finished. Yeah, depending <laughs> on the level, yeah. But to be fair, I don't know. Yolanda... I feel like if she actually existed, uh, she would have been probably the best of all mythology. Okay, she's awesome. She's like Xena before Xena. You are a big Xena fan, aren't you? Oh, Xena, Xena rocks. Okay. I, I, I realize I said that in a kind of accusatory term, but I. Didn't. Oh no, it's okay. Uh, accusation understood. I don't know, it wasn't an accusation. That's what I mean. That's that's just how I sound. <laughs> you seen a fan. If it was a, an accusation, I mean, it's, I, it's not unfounded. I will say that I'm more of a fan of the Xena PS1 game than necessarily anything else Xena related. Yeah. Like, I, I've seen so, a good number of the episodes and we've got the full collection, so I need to watch all of them, uh, but... The you know, PS1 one game is terrible, bro, Sensha. You mean perfect? No, I mean terrible. It's so fun. So bad. I've never played it, but I've seen you play it a lot, and I have no desire to play it. I very much enjoy it, because every level is different. They actually, like... They put a lot of work into making each level feel different and have different mechanics and... You know, even though it's technically you're you're doing the same sort of 3D platforming, the same sort of fighting, it's just it, you have to figure out what's going on in each level. I I love it. I think it's great. Uh, it is not a good game, but it is a fun game. That's well, that's how I think of Yolanda. It is in so many ways not a good game, but it is weirdly addicting. Yeah, yeah, I like. I like playing this game. I feel like game. it's a, a better game if you, as I said, if you think of it as a puzzle game, right, yeah. then it's just stupid hard. Yes. I actually think that if you if you play this on Wimp difficulty, where you stick with the same level time after time after time, uh, at least until you die and game over and it gives you a different random level. But I actually think that's a worse way of playing it because I think that it gives you a lot more variety where it's randomizing the level each time. Uh, oh yeah. And that kind of prevents you from banging your head against one thing so much. Yeah, I, I somewhat agree. Like, learning some of the basics for levels, like, to make steady progress... I don't know, it's not really too satisfying until you have the genuine randomness and are able to just on the fly actually get through some of these stages. Like, Logstar Go getting through that one right there. Now it's time for yeah. the creepy crabs. Well. <laughs> so do you think that uh, everyone has learned to fear me again yet? I've learned. I, I don't think you ever forgot. Help me! <laughs> uh. 
I mean, I haven't been around for a while, and I know that people were thinking I'd gone soft. I heard the whispers. The whispers by Zoo. You're, Going on about you're, how... you're so soft that you haven't, like, because you haven't given Rosanche enough burritos. Yeah, go give him a burrito. I don't think that that's would... how it works, Rosanche. That that's would how make it works for me. Talk. There goes Logstar, go. Wait, Faizu, I, I think that in order to become, like, a stronger personality, giving me a burrito would help. Why? does Do I level up by doing that or something? Sure, I'll give you, like, five levels for a single burrito. Hmm. I'll consider it. Yes. There's a chance. Oh, Logstar, go! Oh, uh, jumped. I, Logstar definitely did not expect to grab onto the vine above the spider and thus descended <laughs> to death. Or the skull crab, whatever you want to call it. Okami, this game is really fun casually. It's also really frustrating casually, but it's, it's one of those ones that is incredibly addicting in its irritation. Because you constantly play it and you think, oh, I know I can do that level. I'm sure I can do it. I just need to keep playing oh, hey. to that level again. Jolo Ninja realized you can buffer inputs. Oh, that is going to help Ooh. a lot. Well. <laughs> just the timing there. Oh, Logstar Go has also learned. Fantastic. Yeah, I still think we are going to see at least one more new high score, maybe two. But <laughs> yeah, they're they're learning how to play this game. I'm slightly scared about what's going to be said in the interview after the match. I'm not. <laughs> I know what it'll be. It'll be angry. It'll be great. Oh, well, I, I think they'll love it. At least, I, let's see. It's it's been a little while since I've had a death threat of any sort, but my, uh, I think I'm safe here. My bet is that Julo Ninja is going to love it. Logstar Go won't. Just based off of like what I know about the players so far, that's what I feel is going to happen. Uh, so don't worry, you'll only get. That max one threat today, Faizu. Is that from you if I don't give you a burrito? Sure. Yes. Ah. <laughs> get me a burrito. So, I, I do want to point out, right, you know, 11th Doc is saying that some of these stages have multiple ways through, and it looks that way, but it's actually pretty well not. Right, like, all these They're stages all... have... There's a couple, but not very many. Most have most disappearing them, platforms. Yeah, most most have things that look like extra ways through, which will kill you if you try to go along them. Um, there are a few which do genuinely have multiple paths through, though. However, I don't think that was actually intentional because a few of them are really, really cheap and quick ways of getting to the exit. Like the one where you just fall off the starting platform and you're there. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Jillo Ninja is on one of the stages that looked like it had multiple solutions, but it definitely did not. Uh, yeah, honestly, there are so many platforms that either disappear or burst into flames that uh, this game is very difficult. Oh no, Jillo Ninja somehow did not activate the hidden platform. Yeah, that one's just a little bit higher up and uh, to the right. It took me a while to figure out how to do that level, if only because you pretty much have to jump from the very edge of the platform each time to get to the next one. And yeah, this it, it, this game stuff. controls much worse than it looks. Yeah, somehow. Like, I mean, all you had were arrows and a jump button, but it still does not control well. It's it's weirdly stiff. Um, yeah. Like the the precision jumps between the bats and the spiders and so on, the stationary ones. Those are some of the hardest obstacles 
in this game to my mind. And yet yes. they're back to back. You have to do it over and over and, and we over. Haven't even, we haven't even seen the worst level about that yet. Yeah. Um, the worst level has like four rows of them that you have to jump through. That's the only obstacle in the level are just the b bats or spiders. I love it. Right, but there's just so many of them. Hopefully I'm not too far behind, but it looks like Logstar Go is making a, a good run at this level. I am watching on Bro stream, so I'm a few seconds oh, behind. Oh, Julo! Unfortunately, not jumping far enough to make it there. My gosh, not the crab. I love that there are like five different types of crab in this game. It's like... You know, you could have thought of a few other enemies. Like, I'm pretty sure Minotaur was a thing. Yeah, but crabs. Crabs. But crabs. Not, not, not butt crabs, just crabs. Might oh, be some crabs. of these might be butt crabs. Uh, if you headbang into the ceiling uh, with the vines, you will tend to fall off them. Yep. Well, it, it'll, cut, it'll cut everything short. Yes. So some of the stuff, like the gaps where Logstar was ah! at there, Right, you can you can bounce. Just hold down that jump button and go all the way across. So yeah, if the gaps are small, you can still do it. Um, but like where Julo Ninja is, it's just far enough apart that you can't. Yep. Oh no, Julo Ninja! That was so close. Oh. My heart. See what what everybody's done with that that second vine isn't really a vine it's a trap so you actually have to start your jump even lower so you land on the platform without hitting the vine wow oh game my is gosh me. yeah slightly game is full of traps well yeah all of the platforms on jewel and ninja screen are all all of the platforms are traps here you know, going slow is absolutely required. But this is also a race setting, so it, it's a little bit stressful to do that. Oh my gosh! Julo, no! I think there is still enough time for either player to get a new high score, though. There absolutely is. I've got five minutes left. That's that's enough time for at least one, maybe two completed. Maybe two. Attempts. Oh no, Logstar onto the spider room. I don't like it. Ah, the spiders! Ah! The spiders burned to death. I love it. Yeah, yeah that room you have to go pretty much instantly. You don't have time to gauge your jumps. Julo burning in the flames. As life goes, as Yolanda, you know, it's just... You know, they, they said that in Hunger Games, what's her <laughs> name was the girl on fire, but Yolanda was the real girl on fire. That's that's Joan of Arc, as we learned from the Bill and Ted man. Oh she my one gosh, she can't. <laughs> too soon. It's always too soon. Look, 1,400 years, or 600 years is not too soon. Okay, that's true. Okay. 600 years, we can joke about it. Hey, guess what? Sometimes people, like Joan of Arc, uh, have jokes. Is it, is it, is it acceptable, is it acceptable when it comes to Yolanda, who is continually catching fire, uh, considering so. that both, she didn't exist and that was a couple of thousand years prior? Yeah, and considering that she's like completely a ripoff of Hercule Hercules, not Hercules. Uh, why didn't they put Hercules in this? Like, what was their because, goal because of putting chain Yolanda? Mail, chain mail bikinis, probably, with better graphics. Uh, like, have you seen the ZX Spectrum version of this? No. You should. Okay, um, I'm I'm gonna send you a screenshot because it is uh, amazing. I posted Please one do, up just yes. in case they'd, they've played the ZX Spectrum version, which was Hercules. Okay, I think there's uh, one more shot. One more shot. There we go. I posted it up in Twitch chat. I guess I've never really purchased a game because of a graphic that I've seen on the box. 
That may or may not be visible to people, I don't know. At least I don't recall ever buying a game based off of that. Oh, this is ugly. I okay. I want to try the Spectrum version. So do I. I just wonder whether it would control better or worse if it would be quite as sadistic. Because I haven't tried it. This is, uh... I, I had the demo of this for the Atari ST, and that was basically my experience with Yolanda. <laughs> um, and then I remember that it existed around the time of, like, Kuso 3, and found wow. it and spent a while trying to work it out. By the way, Logstar did get a new high score of 54,000 points. That is a significant lead at this point. Julo Ninja, you've got to get the high score on this set of attempts. But unfortunately, Julo is running out of lives. One life. How do you even deal with this level? Oh my gosh. Well, not like that. I, yeah, there technically is enough time maybe because this game is not very long. Like, the stages go by super duper quick. Oh. There we go, 12,000 points for a single level. Yeah, you just hope you die and you keep getting that one. Yeah, but you can't I know. leave your fate up to RNG. You gotta... This is, this is tense. Although, uh, I, I might consider, like, if I were doing it, I might consider writing down how many points each stage gives and then, you know, consider resetting right away if I don't get one of the stages that give me good points. 24,000 points! And we've got 40 seconds left! Oh my gosh. I don't know. Like, I, you got a boogie! I think it's... I think it's maybe possible maybe but i don't think so i think this is all but over i think at this, this is pretty yeah yep i think so 20 seconds left 20 seconds okay thirty-one thousand points Ugh. i would say heartbreaking but no they both put in so much work to try to make progress in this this has been yeah. a fantastic watch they both did so much better in this than I ever did in my first hour. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody, kick and back, relax. Time. We no longer have the anxiety music. It's time! The end! And uh, now I run away before they yell at me. <laughs> Bye, it? everyone! No, don't run! <laughs> wow. Wow. Just taking off like that. I see how it is. I mean, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, Faizu, uh, speaking of how they did, like, what stood out to you? you? You said that they did very well in this, huh? Oh, they did very well. Uh, I don't think I managed to beat that many stages in one run within the course of about an hour, especially not in, with the added stress of a race setting. Yeah, honestly, having to race this uh, and knowing that the game, like, actively punishes you for going fast, uh, it and actively punishes you, and it, it actively gives you anxiety with the level start music as well. Okay, hello there, Julo Ninja Logstar Go! Hey, this going through? Yes, I hear ya. Cool. Welcome. Welcome, Julo Ninja, hello! Hello, how are people? I'm doing fantastic. I... I've, have... I've spent the last hour giggling, so uh, I'm doing all right. <laughs> yeah, the vines, just the vines. <laughs> okay, so I, I do need to know your overall opinions because I made a bet about what your opinions of the game would be. Logstar Go, what was your opinion? Yeah, not the greatest. A little too much trial and error, but, you know, that's, that's really it. Uh, well, a lot too much trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, game that you would play again or not? Nope. <laughs> okay, Jillo Ninja, your opinions. Uh, it, it wasn't too much trial and error for some levels, and then others it was. What do I do? Oh, uh, next yeah. to the goal, but the floor falls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I. Uh, 
yeah, some levels were really, really easy to get through. Some levels were not. Is this one that you would touch again, Julo Ninja? I'd probably consider it just to see if I could get through some of those levels. See, I kind of bet that way that Julo Ninja would enjoy it more than Logstar Go. That was my bet. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, say I won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but seriously, this was an incredibly hard game. I've played it myself for a good amount of time, and it's just so punishing the very first time you jump into it. It's like, holy crap. Yeah, is there I, punches? I predicted that we would have at least, I predicted, I think, three game overs within the first minute, and I think I was about, I think I was right with that. I think so, yeah. <laughs> so... You know, we do want to reveal who the winner is uh, because both of you had really good pushes, but Logstar Go managed to get over 50,000 points. Jiro uh, Ninja didn't quite break the 30 or the 40,000 mark. Uh, you know, you, you had a really good attempt at the very end that I think you could have if the timer hadn't stopped you. Yeah. Yeah. But then it you... did. You both did fantastically, though. I don't think I broke uh, 30,000 points within my first hour of playing, and I can't imagine what that was like playing this with the added stress of a race setting. Because this game kind of induces anxiety and stress all on its own. Just a little bit, you know? Just a tiny bit. It's very stressful. Uh, um, yeah, I was fully expecting to be like, well, Julo got 140,000 something like that. I was fully expecting that for the halfway mark. I mean, it's it's the rule of Cusa Grande is that you always expect your opponent to be doing better than you. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's usually not the case. If you're struggling, other people are struggling. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I play a lot of mind games with myself and end up stressing myself out way more than I should. Uh, but yeah, both of you seem to still keep making good attempts right up until the end. And, you know, just keep going. Oh, well, you know, Logstar Go, I'm super happy for you. You did fantastic here. You're moving on to round two. Uh, Jilo Ninja, I'm a little bit sad for you, but that's the way things go. You're eliminated from the tournament. Uh, so be sure to hit me up. Uh, I'm happy to give out $5 worth of Steam gifts for you, uh, as well as if you want Santa Claus and the Ice Cream Bunny. Uh, the Rift Tracks version of that, I am, uh, you can go ahead and ask me for that as well, and I can ship it over to you. So, we do need to know, do you have any words for your grave? Any final words to put on your headstone? Uh, I mean, my headstone should be that I'm glad I don't have to wake up early hours of the morning anymore, so, see you, Cusa Grande. <laughs> see you, Cusa Grande, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, uh, uh, for people who are playing get bizarre hours of the day, you know, you you all put in a lot of effort there, and honestly, you should be commended. Uh, it, it's we 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 very much appreciate the people who. Uh, I mean, we appreciate everyone, uh, everyone who tunes in, everyone who plays, and everyone who GMs as well. But those of you who come in at weird hours of the day to take part in this, um, that. That does mean something a little bit special that you would go out of your way to, to join in with this. Yeah, with our weird fun shenanigans here. So <laughs> seriously, thank you both so much. Uh, I think it is time for us to go and raid somebody. I'm going to take the rest of the evening off, relax a little bit. I'm just trying to see who I want to go raid. Maybe Half Coordinated is playing some post-epilogue stuff for Hades. That might have spoilers, though. Uh, no, Jeff said don't raid me. Ugh. Uh, you know what? The voice actor for Rivali on uh, Breath of the Wild is currently streaming, so let's go raid him. Uh, good old Sonic Mega Dip Sustenance. Uh, yes, that is a good raid message. Jal, I appreciate that message in your game. Let's go uh, raid Rivali, yell sustenance. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. <laughs> okay, see y'all later. Take care. Have a good 
rest of your day. Bye. Thank you all. Bye, Julo Ninja. Bye, Logstar. <laughs> See ya. Have a good night. See ya. Good night. Bye, Cornette.